What's it doing? Scott, I think it's video. Yeah. yeah, please. All on its own, Scott. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Look at this. Look at this. I mean, I thought New York hadn't completely reopened yet. And yet you got a construction company, a road cooking uh, company here, closing down South Grand Street in Cold Steel, New York on the 21st of May, 2020. Uh, roughly uh, 14... Five, 14.05 hours or 2.05 p.m. for you uh, non-military types. And looks like they're just digging a big ass hole in the road. I'm passing under a bridge right now, which is why you get the dark to light and everything. So yeah. This is what's going on. But yeah, I thought constructions and stuff like that wasn't essential. And I thought we were still only fucking essential people, non-essentials were screwed. At least that's my uh, understanding of it. So, uh, pretty interesting if you ask me. Pretty interesting if you ask me. Very interesting. Come, it's got to come up this way. Yeah, I find it very interesting about how they're doing this here. I mean, they've blocked off a whole, basically a whole street of MacArthur Avenue. To the way I'm walking down it right now, there's literally no cars uh, here, but yeah, you got parking for cars over here for the business, for apartment buildings. But it's Peter Lazzi Brothers uh, out, of New, out of Albany, New York. It's doing this. Peter Lozzi, Lozzi, L-U-Z-Z-I, brothers, asphalt. It's uh, doing this for Copelskill. I'm guessing it's for Copelskill. So, uh, since when is an asphalt company considered an essential business? I mean, if construction workers are essential businesses and essential workers and road crew are essential workers well then uh, so is the bar maids and the bartenders so is the restaurant workers for uh well high class restaurants and bars uh so is the school bus driver the school teacher hell I will be willing to bet that the fucking school teachers and the school bus drivers and the crossing guards for those who can walk to school are more essential than a fucking road crew is. Because they take our children to and from school well, they're supposed to be learning shit so that they can be a well-informed adult and learn how to make decisions and interact with other adults in a polite society. But I guess under Cuomo that uh, the kids aren't, and the people who teach our children aren't essential but people who work on road crews are essential. And people who work in construction are essential. I don't see that. Doctors, firemen, cops, 
Well, maybe not so much cops, considering Cuomo's been letting out the criminals. But, you know, those I could see, you know, medics, those I could see is uh, essential. People who work in grocery stores, I could see that as essential. Same thing with restaurants, those are essential. But, uh, you know what? I got a little fucking uh, news flash for you, Democrat, liberal, libtards, and Cuomo fucking people, as well as Schumer, Pelosi, fucking AOC, Ilhan, Nuwaz, Saeed, Alameed, fucking the squad, and every other fucking dumbass out there. All jobs are essential because all paychecks are essential to the people so that they can pay the bills, keep a roof over their head, keep their family fed, keep their children clothed. It's that fucking simple. All jobs are essential, you dumbasses. And as usual, if you like the words that came out of my mouth hole, give it a thumbs up. It helps us to beat the YouTube algorithm. And well, that's it for me. You see my buddy who's here, my brother from another mother, Mr. Scott Holmes. See if he has anything to say about it. Cuomo, get off. Pull your head out of your ass and open the, the country, open the state, let us get back to taking care of our families and making, like, the state in the United States, the U.S., great again. You're being a fool. It's a natural order of things, like survival of the fittest. It's going to happen well, no matter what you do. You're just screwing things up worse later. Another one of the things that I do. And no, uh, we don't always agree. We do disagree at times. But uh, when it comes to what's best for this country, all real Americans will always agree on the same thing. So until next time, we'll get some else. Listen, we have to buck up and be Americans first. Because we're all here. And as far as I've seen, we've all woke up today and we're still a free country. No red stars, no Russian bears, whatever. No Korean, whatever. So, we're Americans first and then we have to work down, work together. I don't like everybody. Actually, I hate everybody until you change my mind because I'm equal opportunity hater. But... I'm an American, and it's like, we're all Americans. Let's fucking get it together and beat this crap. Yeah, we can at least start from a place of mutual respect, because we are, we are all Americans. However, you cross our border illegally, you're not an American. You're a fucking Mexican or whatever. Because you didn't come here legally and do it the right way. So you're not a citizen. Therefore, in my eyes, A, you are a criminal, and B, you are not entitled to our rights. You are entitled to have the same rights that your country gives, and that's it, because you're not an American, you didn't come here legally. But that's a video for, uh, that's subject for another video. So until next time, this has been Brad Allen Hensley and, hey, you wanna say something? Scott Holmes saying later. Then until next time, think for yourselves. The brain is a muscle, if you use it, it gets bigger. If you don't use it, well, you end up like AOC, a dumbass who doesn't know shit and the phrase of dynamite couldn't blow a quarter of a nostril. So until next time, we'll be seeing you.